voters matter. Black voters matter. Cliff Albright and his organization, Black Voters Matter, helped turn out the vote for Biden in 2020. Remember that the Black vote was instrumental all across this country. What you see is that Black voters still overwhelmingly um, are supportive of President Biden, although quite obviously that that, that support has been, um, you know, going up and down and, and decreasing in some ways. And there's lots of reasons for that. He's right. Roughly 9 in 10 Black voters supported Biden in the 2020 election. But today, a Washington Post-Ipsos poll of more than 1,200 Black Americans show a drop in support. 7 in 10 approve of President Biden's job performance, and fewer than a quarter strongly approve. When a nation catches uh, a cold, our community gets pneumonia, right? Particularly, you know, we're always the, the first ones impacted by economic downturns, and we're the last ones that benefit from the recovery. So at the end of the day, these economic issues are part of what has, it goes into the mix of how black voters feel about the president. What happens on issues of racial justice, like voting rights or like police reform, that also impacts the way that black voters um, look at the presidency. Those changes he's referring to have been slow in coming. That's in part because the Senate is split 50-50 between the parties and the passage of most bills requires 60 votes. So this campaign was at its lowest ebb. The African-American community stood up again for me. You've always had my back, and I'll have yours. Ahead of the midterms, Biden will need to convince voters to turn out for him and his party amid stalled bills important for black America. I don't know how much people feel taken for granted, but we are being taken for granted. If you look at how things unfolded in 2021, it reflected the strategic priority of which groupings of people within the population they thought were most important. So this whole initiative around the marginally bipartisan uh, infrastructure package was a strategic calculation to try to send a message to white swing voters that they're not too radical or not too scary. Whereas at the same time, you have a, a fusel lot of attacks on people of color in all of these key states, Georgia, Texas, Arizona, Florida, and there's a very tepid response from the administration and from progressives. I do think that there is a weird dynamic um, between the voting base that Joe Biden had, which is largely Black women and young people, and that he was able to catalyze such a historic turnout for his election, um, and how that comes along with just such a historic disappointment. Jamie Harrison, the chair of the Democratic National Committee, said the Biden administration has taken a number of steps to improve the quality of life for black people. This election is about a choice. It's a choice between a party that is built on fraud and fear and fascism, that is uh, banning books written by black authors that are suppressing the, the votes of, of, of black voters. We're in the process of putting the first African-American woman on the Supreme Court a party that worked hard to bring down child poverty uh, and cut it in half and had a disproportionate impact on the black community. And so you have a party that actually gives a damn about uh, black communities and is working hard in order to, to make the lives of the folks in those communities better each and every day. Still, voters say the party and the president need to get more aggressive ahead of November. These midterm elections are very important and it's a shame um, the state that a lot of Black people are in as far as their feelings towards not only Joe Biden, but the feelings that carry over to the Democratic Party and to civic engagement overall, because we probably won't see the historic turnout in these midterm elections. Um, I hope we do. I hope I'm wrong. But, you know, when you're in a situation where you just had an attempted insurrection take place, which has never happened, not just in our lifetime, but, you know, pretty much in this, in this country's history, we're once again at a very critical juncture of, of if this democracy is imperfect as it, as it is, um, if it's going to continue with, with any semblance of legitimacy, is a, a, a process that we know that we can play a critical role in. I think Black folks and Black voters understand that.